Hello guys, what's going on? It's Krusty Butt here. And uh, man, I got something to say. You know, uh, Mexicans, and Latinos for that matter, they always mix their J's and the Y's. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I saw you yesterday at Yak in the Box. You were ordering the Yumbo Yak. <laughs> you guys thought that was funny? No. I, um, uh, I got a, I got a kick out of it. Um, I was watching, um, Edwin San Juan. Look him up on YouTube. There's a, there's a few videos of him. Not too many. He's, uh, he's pretty underestimated, but, um, he's, uh, he's definitely up there and one of the best comedians. I learned about him, um, through Gabriel Iglesias is uh stand up revolution and man that's really that's great you know he's doing a good thing for the com for the lower comedians that haven't really been exposed yet and um he really does a good job of picking the funny ones i mean uh, almost every single one i've seen is a uh, hilarious hilariously funny um who knows what that's from leave in the comments so <laughs> yeah man uh funny people so um with that intro with that intro said um I want to talk about some. Uh, actually, I want to talk about two things. Two things. Dose. Or R. Or T. For any of you guys wondering, T is Russian. R is two for Mandarin. Or R is Mandarin for two. And then dos is two for Mexican. I'm kidding. I know. It's Spanish. Or Espanol. If you want to get technical. And, actually, before we talk about that, let me talk about something. So, if you're Mexican, and I say your name wrong, like, if I say Michelle, and it's Michelle. Okay, first off, I can't say Michelle. Or however you pronounce your name. Okay, I don't know, and I don't care. I'm going to call you Michelle. Okay, I'm going to call you Michelle. And you can call yourself whatever you want to call yourself in your own time. We straight? We are straight. Okay, or if your net last name is Via Pondo, I'm going to say it Via pa Pondo, not Villa Pondo. Okay? Okay, calm down. Seriously, people, don't don't get your panties in a bunch. Because that right there, that, 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 that messes me up. So if you heard that, that would be my Skype. Um, that's, uh, <laughs> man, I don't, I don't particularly like that. Um, so yeah. Um, so what do I want to talk about? Actually, um, let's talk about Oculus uh, Rift and Facebook, if you guys have, um, have yet to hear this. This, this. Um, so Oculus Rift, um, was bought by Facebook, uh, for two million dollars? No, not two million, two billion. Two million is nothing when you're talking about Facebook, man. They dish that out every day. Um, so if you haven't heard, Oculus was bought by Facebook for $2 billion. $400 million of that was bought uh, directly in cash, and $1.6 billion of that was um, bought worth of stock. So, yeah, that's what that came from. And um, a lot of people are upraged. And um, personally, I must say I am, um, I wouldn't say I'm upraged. Con well, I'll tell you two reasons. Uh, well, I am. Well, let's start with the first reason. I am upraged because um, I feel Oculus would have def definitely, most definitely, done better on their own as um, they don't really respond to anybody but the people. And uh, when you're in the social eye, that's, that's going to be obvious, you know. So I would say that that is most definitely awesome. Um, so, but on the flip side of things, you know, Facebook, they needed something going for, for them. They needed something going for them all day. Who knows what that's from? Uh, reference in the comments section below. So that's that. But the other thing, a third reason is um, Facebook is gonna definitely control that company. And sure, they get the engineers with that company, but they're gonna start controlling them to a point where they're gonna push out that uh, Oculus Rift. It's gonna, it's gonna be. And it's not going to be like what it would be if Oculus was working on it in their own time when they wanted and it was released when they wanted. Because as you guys know, they kept on releasing developer kits. And by kept on, I mean they released two and then, yeah. So I'm sure Facebook's going to push out that final version and it's going to be worse than it actually uh, should have been. So that's that's definitely not good. And, um, 
yeah. What can I say? It's 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 not good for either company, to be perfectly honest. Um, however, um, I am invested in Oculus. Uh, if you guys did not know, it's OCLS. So if you guys want to look it up, um, now it's a pretty cheap stock actually, but um, uh, it was it. I believe in December of 2013, it jumped from like two dollars to seven dollars. Um, it more than tripled itself, in like in one day. So uh, investors were hit with a pretty penny. They got back. Um, wish I was uh, would have known that, but um, you know we all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. So yeah, I mean Oculus, they made some money today, which is uh, good for me. And good for the other investors, but I only care about me because I'm uh, rather selfish. So yeah, um, so that's that. And uh, next thing I want to talk about is the Malaysia fight, flight, fight, flight. Um, the Malaysia flight. If you guys haven't heard, um, they have not discovered a single thing yet. And um, let me actually drink some of my Diet Mountain Dew before I keep going, because my throat is definitely sore. Alrighty, guys, I am back. Um, so the Malaysia flight, um, man, wh let me tell you guys what my theory is. Um, I heard this on Wired.com, actually, I'll look it up for you guys really quick. Hold on. Sorry guys, it's taking me a while. Um, so here it is, if you guys want to, uh, look at, look it up. Um, it's actually pretty interesting, and um, I completely believe in this theory. Um, if you guys want to look it up, it is actually called a startlingly simple theory about the missing Malaysia airplanes jet or airplane airlines jet. There it is. Um, so it's a good read. I actually read all of it. I know I never read. Um, it's got some pretty cool maps from uh, Google Maps. I think that's Google Maps, Korea Maps. Um, I don't know. I'm not a rocket scientist, but uh, it's got some pretty cool images. Um, good photographers. I realize it's photographers. Good photographers that took it. Um, and essentially, what it's saying is, um, uh, something happened with the air, um, like uh, the purifier or whatever, or something happened. They flew too. They flew too high. Something. Something malfunctioned. The air became so thin, or there was little to no air, um, and people actually choked to death. Um, or they uh, it, they suffered from asphyxiation, and um, that's suffering from lack of air. In case you guys didn't know, it's basically choking, kind of some along those lines. Should have done my research before. And um, they just choked to death. And um, what happened is when they're choking to death, um, the pilots or the co-pilots they generally they they you know they can't fly the plane if they're choking, so um, they put out an auto autopilot. Or the plane put itself in the autopilot, knowing that um, it wasn't being controlled. And essentially everybody died while the plane was on autopilot. So that's kind of cool, but kind of bad. Um, and eventually ran out of fuel and landed somewhere in the ocean. Or possibly on land, but that's highly unlikely because we would have found it sooner. Um, well, actually, no, it would take longer, right? Because, um, well, I don't know. So that's that's my theory. Um, I do believe that that is that sounds very accurate. Um, obviously, I don't know for sure, but it sounds like it could be true um, to me at least. So yeah. Um, the only thing that I have an issue with is um, that with all the satellite and whatnot we have today, um, there were no more photos of the plane. There not none of that. You know. Um, the other issue I have is. Everybody knows that water and oil don't mix. If you don't, go get some olive oil um, and put it in a cup of water. It uh, the, uh, the olive oil um, floats to the top. And, um, yeah, just go try it if you don't know what happens when you put oil and water together. And um, so you would think that the oil rises to the ocean and on a radar or a mini-map or something. Why did I say mini-map? That's in games. In a, on a radar or a map or an above view or whatever, you would see like a big black spot in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Or what oce uh, whatever ocean it landed into. I'm not a no rocket scientist or a geologist, whatever. Ooh, big word. I'm proud of myself. So, yeah. Wouldn't you see like something black or, you know, I mean, I realize rocket fuel is um 
is less flammable than gasoline, you know, because it's basically kerosene, and kerosene isn't the most flammable thing in the world, despite its name. It sounds very venomous and viperous and asphyxicus. I don't know. That's not even a word. It might be. I don't know. It is now. I just made it up, didn't you know? Um, so, yeah, that's kind of my theory on it. Um, it seems kind of odd to me. They better not give up on it, um, <laughs> on what, on finding out what's happening. However, um, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like they found it. They just don't want to tell us, you know? Because I feel like they would have found something by now, you know? So maybe the Malaysian government is covering up something. I know that's what my mom's telling me, but, you know, I don't know. Um, so I'm hoping they don't forget about it and they just don't be like, oh, well, we don't know where to find it, so we're just going to give up on the story because I honestly want to know what happened. I really do. That'll be uh, that'll be an interesting find for not only me, but the news as well. I'm sure they're going to go off on that. Um, but another thing is, speaking of the news, I hate it when the news covers things that they have no idea what happened with. Like, for example, the Malaysian Airlines. Um, they're talking, they keep on interviewing people. They keep on a uh, asking them the same questions, right? But they have no evidence of anything. They have not found a single thing. They keep on relaying the same information they did from day one. A plane has crashed and etc, 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 etc. Dude, I know the plane has ca crashed. I'm no, like, I'm not retarded. I'm not four. I know the plane has crashed. And I, I know what you guys know. They keep, and they just, it, it doesn't make sense to me. You guys know what I'm talking about. News people report on things that they already know just to report on something. If you don't have any new info, then stop talking. Then go, like, end the show and run a commercial for 50 minutes, you know? I don't know. Do something other than talk about nonsense. So that's my stance on that. Anyways, guys, this video is getting rather long. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. And, um, yeah, please like, favorite, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this commentary. And other than that, guys, I will talk to you later.